Oh man, I tossed and turned all night long. I think I made a grave mistake. I'm really worried that I purchased the wrong tractor. Let's get to it. So yesterday I purchased a 7R from Buck uh, from Platte Valley Implements. I just think it's too small of a tractor. It's just too much like our other tractors. Our other tractors are about 200 to 250 horse tractors. That's obviously a 7, 7250R uh, tractor, which basically means it's a 250 horse tractor. Uh, I'm really worried that it's just too much like our other tractors. I, I don't know. I must. I have buyer's remorse. I think I need to trade it in. Luckily, Iowa has a law where if it's not more than, I think, 24 hours, maybe it's three days. But anyways, we can trade it in or get our monies back. That's not what I'm after here. I just think I need a bigger horsepower tractor. So I talked to Buck. He said, come down, bring it back. I'm keeping the planner. I'm not, I don't want to give the planner back, but I do want to trade the tractor in for a bigger horsepower. So we're driving our newer truck here today. So we're going to drive down. First thing I need to do is I need to feed the pigs. I have been neglecting them lately and they definitely need fed. So basically, this is the tractor I plan on giving back. I just love the looks of this tractor, but I just think it's too much like our uh, other case tractor, or 7250, which is weirdly the same model number, and our uh, 4960. They're about all the same horsepower, so there's no use to having three tractors the same horsepower, and I do not want to get rid of the other two. So I think I'm going to trade this one in. Also, I need to get to these pigs getting fed. So I found out a great use for my little uh, Chevy dump truck over here. So I'm going to use it to feed the pigs because they take about 100 bushels, under 100 bushels every time I feed them. So it's not really used to me getting that big gravity wagon filled up, pulled over there. This is just more convenient, takes less uh, gas and horsepower. I'm going to take this over here, fill it up. Get some wheat first. So. This thing holds just about 200 bushels. Actually about 280 bushels. So it feeds these automatic feeders pretty good. Another thing I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna have to end up separating my pigs so I can start breeding some of them. Now we got wheat. So basically, we have to feed them a, a combined mixture. Obviously, this holds way too much still, so... Still have to unload it, but it's not as much as our gra big gravity wagons do. So if you didn't see the other series, we fixed up our farmyard here. We planted a lot of grass. So I kind of like the looks of it now. Really liking it. All right, now we got some soybeans. That'll be enough for the soybeans. Drive over here. You don't see up there too. It's already day seven of spring. I am getting extremely nervous. I have a lot of field work still done. I have way more field work than last year. I have a lot to plant. So that's another reason why I want a bigger tractor, bigger implement, because I need to plant some of my fields, get in the fields already. All right, so that's the last of the mixture. So we got corn now. So we'll 
So dump that into our uh, pin over here. So now our feeder, we got full mixture. So these pigs should really grow fast now. Before we were just feeding one or the other. So really hope we need to get some wheat in the ground. So it's really getting late late for wheat planting. You can plant corn and soybeans, late maturity corn and soybeans late in the summer, but we were trying to get high bushels. You can't plant the wheat. You really got to plant it in early spring, so we really got to get in the field. did notice that Jake still hasn't gotten around to, or the co-op still hasn't gotten around to uh, fertilizing our big field over there. Hopefully they get to that right away because we're going to need to uh, till that so we can plant it. So now that's done, we'll jump into, run back over here. So you guys are probably asking me, Stevio, where's your truck? No, I do not drive a Ford in real life. I drive a GMC. So my truck is really close to getting in game. I'm still doing a little bit of testing that should be here really soon. So you should see it really soon here. I should have my truck hopefully in this server. So hopefully it'll also be available for you. So we're gonna do a little bit of testing still to it. So we make sure we give you a good product where we don't have to send out many other versions afterwards but should be released full release once it's done all right so now we need to run back over here grab one of our mac trucks so i do have a little bit of surprise down here waiting for y'all so mac truck gave us two brand new trucks because if you don't remember we sold one to jake or the co-op company whichever one you would like to prefer we sold it to but they gave us two brand new trucks because you don't know we went under contract with them so the first one we got this big spreader on floater tires so this is an older mac truck they just thought this would be a good farming community uh, truck to try to sell so i think this will sell like hot cakes looks pretty nice and we got another mac anthem this all red and guess what? We're going to drive this one. Really like the black accents on this uh, Mac Anthem. Looks really popping. Just a little bit of chrome on the bumper guard there. And the chrome steps, chrome tanks, and the def tanks. Looks fancy. Start this old girl up. Just like always, clean as a whistle inside. So the plan is is we're going to take this over to the farmyard with our trailer and hopefully uh, load our uh, our new tractor on that so I can take it back to Platte Valley. I know, I know, you guys are probably like, Buck is going to be so mad. He just hauled that tractor down here. And I'm like, yep, pretty much so. I know we don't have a lot of money, but I'm really hoping we can get a sales plan agreed for Buck because we kind of need a big tractor, and I really like a new tractor on the farm. I just kind of, once I uh, got that tractor, I just have to have another one, to be honest. All right, that's how unfolding. So the plan is actually I'm going to, uh, trade in one of these discs here so I'm gonna unhook the 4960 here I'm gonna pressure wash this disc off unhook it repark the 4960 so I'll probably use that for some planting might use it on the drill or one of the other planters don't know looks like we need to wash this thing off too we can't leave this John Deere dirty but I'll unhook that and then I'll hook it up to the 7R and I'll pull that back to Platte Valley and I'll trade them both in for hopefully something bigger. Alright, so let's pressure wash both of these off, especially this uh, disc. Hopefully we get a little bit more money for it. 
We did buy this disc brand new. That's why I'm trading this one in. The other one we bought used off an auction. All right, unhook that. Now, I'm gonna basically leave this over here for now. That's the plan anyways. I'm wondering if I can squeeze that drill in over here. Nope. I was gonna see. I'll actually plant, start this tractor up here. Doing a lot of running around here, that's for sure. All right, so we're gonna turn this around. I think I'm gonna put this in front of my garage over here. That's the plan anyways, so park this right by the disc. I wish I would have parked that disc just a little bit farther away. Plan is to move this just so I can grease it up, get it nice and ready for some planting. Need to plant some grass here with it, hopefully. Don't know if that's going to be possible, but here soon, that's for sure. I know, you're probably all saying, why did you even buy it? I'm thinking to myself right now the same thing, so I'm kind of kicking myself. Just made a impulse buy, should have never done it, but it's done. Luckily we could still fix it. Alright, jump that up on there. Should be ready to travel now. So we're heading down our road here nice and slow. Definitely don't want to lose none of this cargo. So, I already called Buck. He said just uh, make the trade and we'll settle up later on. So I did just call Buck. He did say that they have a brand new 8R. He said, for now, just take the 8R. He said you should like the implement that it's on it. So if you like it, take it back demo it for a few days we'll pay a demo fee that way if we want to buy it later we for sure know that that's the right piece of equipment for us so that's what it's going to be right now so basically we're not going to make a, a trade deal with this uh, tractor yet uh, basically I'm just handing this tractor over taking it over to them with the disc and then we're going to settle up later once I figure out what I want, because obviously I'm indecisive. Alright, pulling in here, I kind of already think I know which tractor. That is weird. That thing has a loader tractor on front of it. What? I gotta look at this thing. This thing is... What? I can't believe. Nate R with a loader tractor? Wow. That thing, this must be the tractor because they have the door open and everything. So this has a Landall field finisher. I've seen a lot of these around. So this must be a good disc because everyone's got one of these things. So I just saw a few of them just while I was driving here to be honest. Yeah, I think I definitely want to try it out. Let's see, I, I don't know if that 8R can pull that thing. But it is a 370 horse, so that also goes up in boost power, so that'd probably be a pretty good uh, tillage tractor, that's for sure. Definitely a big loader tractor. Alright, so let's see if we can back this off without hurting ourselves. Wow. Oh, I fell off of the trailer there but I actually with the duels and everything nothing happened so it looks like I kind of bind this up Whew. doesn't looks like it was close so I almost popped that tire just look how close that was that was close I'm glad I didn't break anything but wow I was close to breaking something that's for sure so I'm going to park this over here so it's nice and set up for them. Let's look at this thing. Wow. This thing is nice. Alright, close that door here quickly. 
This thing starts up. Man, this thing is nice. I'm really enjoying this. I uh, wonder... I guess we don't need the bleakers out right now. Really don't know how to move most of this equipment. Man, this thing. Whew. I don't even know if this thing is too big for this truck. Might have to put this loader way up in the air, that's for sure. I get this thing pulled up there. Whew, don't want to hit the truck. I want to open the door again. Probably put the loader way up. Hop that front end there. There, that's how it's going to have to ride down. Guess I can put that loader a little bit down. Whoo, strap this thing down. That thing is wide. Look at that thing. We're gonna have to keep take it nice and slow, that's for sure. Like I said, we're just gonna demo this tractor, and if we like it, we are going to purchase it. This is obviously gonna be more money. So hopefully Buck says that they do have payment plans. So it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Man. Almost forgot I was going to move this into their show. There we go. Move that nicely right to their showpiece. I'm sure Buck will be mad about it, but oh well. Man, that thing is giant on there. I mean, just look at that thing. I'm going to have to watch out for the Highline pulls. I don't know if a bucket that size really pays on an 8R. I guess you definitely have the weight of the tractor for the 8R. I mean, obviously we can use another big loader tractor around the farm, so it could benefit us. Maybe we, we need to seriously consider purchasing this tractor, but man, that thing. I don't know. I mean, it kind of definitely looks different seeing an 8R with a loader tractor. You don't see that every day, that's for sure. I'm really hoping this 8R can pull this uh, vertical disc easily, but we will see, I guess. It's a lot of weight on the back of this truck. It's really having a hard time getting up to speed. You know, this has 500 horses under this uh, hood here. This Mack truck's having a hard time. That's for sure. One thing for sure, the thing, this thing has some great brakes. Don't want to brake too hard. We'll brake the freaking tie-down chains right off of that uh, tractor. We're going to really have a problem. These roads are creepingly quiet right now. That's for sure. kind of glad. It is a little bit early, but I mean, it's 9 o'clock. I mean, even millennials get up at this time, right? Really like our uh, blind spot mirrors on this truck. Really convenient to have them on here. So I make sure I don't, when I'm turning wide for a turn or whatever, there isn't some jerk trying to pass me here quickly and I end up side swiping them. Not something you want to do. These mirrors on the side, I can barely see anything. All I see is the duels of the tractor. Looks like uh, Jake and Austin got in the field over here. They're definitely starting to uh, till. They're, or Jake's field, I guess. That's Jake's field. Looks like we still have a uh, road construction truck up here. Must be uh, broken down, I guess. They just haven't gotten to fixing it yet. There we go. It looks... Man, I didn't know Jake owned a 8970 there. I did not know Jake owned a 8970. I wonder if that's squat or... I wonder if that's Grant's 8970. Is he helping them out, maybe? Possibly, I guess. So we're just pulling it right up in here. We're going to get it up here towards the farm. Unload it on our nice uh, flat hill up here. We're going to try to unload this thing right here.
Start this thing up. It's always creepy on backing off a tractor on a big trailer like this. Definitely a thin trailer. Especially after we almost popped the tire over there, Platte Valley. Alright. Not too bad there. So I think I'm going to take this almost directly to the field here. Alright, so we need to go down here. So the mission today is to create another field. So I've owned this grass field. I haven't really got nothing out of this grass field. So I really need to till it up so I can get a crop out. So this grass field, I really don't know best way to get to it. Uh, I guess I'll go down uh, by squad's field here. So the grass field is actually right over here. A little bit of hilly ground here. I uh, got some towers and some high line poles to watch out for, but... So let's unfold this here quickly. So get this unfolded. This implement is big. I hope we got enough horses to pull this old girl. That is giant. Definitely going to be a bigger field. Looks like Squad needs to get in his field over here. Get that going there. So, not too bad actually. It, we're pulling at a 10 mile an hour. So, I'm pretty happy at that. Uh, definitely not pulling the tractor back at all. So, we. This tractor is a little underpowered for this uh, big of a disc. So, I probably should have put front duels on it. Might do it, especially just for tillage. I know a lot of you guys don't like the looks of the front duels, but let's face it. They're on there for a reason, because, you know, you need the traction. Probably should have put some on there. You know, I think I'm going to unhook this quickly, run back, and get some front duels put on it. I just think it's probably smarter. So... Especially pulling this big of an implement if we put some front duels on here uh, We did end up getting some so it kind of gave us some in case All you have to do is bolt them on it will just take us probably less than an hour So the good thing about a loader we should be able to just put the loader down lift up front wheel wells just put a block underneath it put the duels on and then this should even be quicker to be honest so this should take us no time whatsoever all right beans our other shop is full my favorite shop we will open up this shop all right so now we need a all right see you can push that down there we go see now we got the front duels off the ground. We probably don't want them a little bit that much off the ground, so we will just get them slightly. So we're pr actually we need to loosen up the bolts first, and then we'll jack it up. All right, we'll loosen these up quickly. Lock this. All right. Now we got them loose. Now we can turn on the tractor, lift it up. All right, so now we have the duels on. So I think this will be a much better tillage tractor now. I know you guys don't like the looks of it. I do, for one, especially with that loader tractor. It just makes it look mean. So let's get back over to our implement because we need to get back in the field bad. Perfect, perfect tractor to work on in our shop there with this loader tractor. Just makes it so easy getting them duels on. Another nice thing about this tractor, it goes 32 mile an hour. This thing flies. 
has GPS, has sequence button uh, controls on it. Pretty nice. I really don't even mind the front loader on this thing. I don't really use lose a lot of visibility, to be honest. So it's not too bad. Do think it's nice to have a 8R with a loader on front. So. Pretty interested in this tractor. I think we're definitely gonna have to pay mortgage the farm basically to get this tractor, but I think it'd be nice once we get it. So this is definitely a field we need to take advantage of. This is pretty big. So I was going to actually uh, harvest the uh, grass off this or at least bale it, but I never got to it too late in the winter so I've owned this field so this is basically one of my uncle's fields that sat idle for a few years so definitely need to take advantage of it especially with all of our bills we have so I'm just just got done tilling around them uh, our highline pools so right now I'm making circles around them I'm really hoping I don't run into these things sometime this year. I think I'll make one more pass just around the inside. So just make nice little circles around them. I'm really surprised this field is actually bigger than what I thought it was. We'll get a lot of acres out of here. So I'm kind of surprised that this just sat idle for so long farmland is so valuable definitely want to use every square inch you have so beans we have our pigs we are uh, we ended up tilling up all of our grassland so we can have more uh, area to put crops in that's for sure so we're still tilling along here so making fairly good time it's going to take us definitely a few hours to till up this field. Uh, sod is breaking up really nicely. We are going to have to put some lime down on it. A lot of fertilizer, being it's set fallow for so long. But I'm really impressed with uh, how good this tractor's doing. I uh, really hope I can afford this tractor, that's for sure. Land all disc, they sure became popular around this area there's one right across the road I believe that's Grants all right so we are getting down pretty close to the last pass actually we have one more pass back down at least if not two uh, I think and then we have that little piece off to the side there on the other side of the highline poles. We're getting pretty far here. I'm surprised no one else is in the field right now because it is definitely go time. So I should already be planting to be honest. So it is 60 degrees out there. So I'm definitely getting at itching to get into corn planting already and I don't even have my wheat planted. Alright, so now we're going to start this small little uh, section here. So we've got a little uh, wavy here when we're going around the highline poles. Definitely hope I don't have to run over one of them in the field accidentally. Don't want to be falling asleep on the wheel in this field. This grass is extremely high on this field, so we could have actually bailed this grass and then tilled it, but we're so far behind where we couldn't get all that done in time. And especially it takes a while to uh, dry grass around this area, it seems like, so I don't think that would have probably been a smart idea. Especially when we don't really have cows or anything to worry about. We just have a few more passes left. We've got this big field done. This is a huge relief off of our shoulders. 
so glad we were able to get this done today but thank you all for watching and i will see you later here in iowa thank you all for watching like comment and share and subscribe see you next time